All right, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us and thank you so much uh, for being patient with us today. We had a technology upgrade over the weekend and are having to do some work on our team's links today with that upgrade. So we do apologize and we hope everyone got the gov delivery with the new link and has been able to join us. Uh, we are gonna go ahead and get started. Good afternoon and welcome to the public hearing for the OLCC Limited Marijuana Tax Compliance Extension. My name is Nicole Blasse and I am the Rules Coordinator for the Oregon Liquor and Cannabis Commission. Today is June 17th, 2024 at approximately 1.17 p.m. and this public hearing is being held virtually. The purpose of a public hearing is to give interested persons a reasonable opportunity to submit data and or personal comments prior to the adoption of permanent rulemaking. This afternoon's hearing is being held in accordance with Chapter 183 of the Oregon Revised Statutes, otherwise known as the Administrative Procedures Act, Division 1 of Chapter 845 of the Commission's Administrative Rules, and Division 1 of Chapter 137 of the Oregon Administrative Rules, otherwise known as the Model Rules of Administrative Procedure. Please be advised that today's hearing is being recorded. During this afternoon's hearing, I will accept comments from anyone who wishes to submit them. If you are interested in providing testimony today but have not yet signed up, uh, please shoot us a message in the Teams meeting chat or raise your hand in Teams. Uh, or if you are calling in, you can uh, interject when appropriate. Uh, if you wish to submit written comments after today's hearing, you may do so provided that all submissions are received by 12 p.m. on Friday, June 28, 2024. <clears throat> Here is a summary of the proposed rule. In 2023, the OLCC and Department of Revenue were directed to take steps to require proof of tax compliance for marijuana retailers as part of the renewal, change of ownership, addition of license holders, and or new licensure process. Since that time, the OLCC has come across situations where licensees have extenuating circumstances that have prevented them from obtaining certificates of tax compliance. This has included deaths in the family, pending legal actions, and other delays beyond the control of the licensee. In response to these situations, OLCC staff is proposing to pass permanent rulemaking to grant relief in specific situations where the licensee is trying their best to obtain a certificate of compliance while working through their specific tax issues. A licensee applying for an extension would need to meet specific requirements and provide proof that they are working to obtain their certificate of compliance. At this time, I don't currently have anybody signed up to provide testimony today. Is there anybody on the call today that would like to provide written testimony at today's public hearing? All right, um, I'm going to take maybe a two or three minute break and just wait and see if anybody is still joining us and um, make sure that there's nobody that would like to provide testimony and we will revisit in a few minutes. So I'm going to mute my microphone. Uh, please speak up if you're interested in providing testimony today.
All right, uh, this is Nicole Blasse, OLCC Rules Coordinator, just checking back in. I know we had some technical difficulties today. If there's anybody who is just joining us, we are now, uh, the public hearing is now open for comment. So if there's anybody who would like to provide testimony today, uh, please raise your hand in Teams or speak up if you are phoning in. All right, everyone, uh, again, Nicole Blasse, OLCC Rules Coordinator. Um, this is our last call uh, for testimony today at our public hearing for limited tax compliance extension. Um, I will hold the meeting open until 1.30 today. Um, so please feel free to chime in or message in the Teams chat if you'd like to provide testimony today. Otherwise, I will conclude the public hearing at 1.30 today. Thank you.
Okay, everyone, last call for the public hearing for the limited tax compliance extension. At this time, I have not received any um, requests to submit testimony. Is there anybody on the call um, that may have joined late um, from the bad link that would like to provide testimony today? Okay, it is now 1.28 p.m. At this time, there have been no requests to submit comment, so we are going to conclude the hearing. Please remember that written comments must be received no later than 12 p.m. on June 28th to be considered during um, the permanent rulemaking process. Thank you for your interest and participation and have a great rest of your day.